today we're going to be reviewing the AZ Dome M550 3 in 1 dash cam. Now, a couple of days ago, a company called AZ Dome had reached out to me on email and they asked if they could send me a dash cam for free in exchange for an honest review of their dash cam. And I said, hey, why not? So today, like I said, we're going to be reviewing this dash cam, which is a 3 in 1. And what that means is it's a dash cam that faces forward, you know, your front view, your rear view, and then also your interior view. So it's pretty cool if you ask me. Now I'm gonna test this out and I'm also going to unbox it as well as show you uh, kind of the easiest way of installing this nicely and not actually having all these wires showing. So if you like that, then definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's video. So let's see what exactly this comes with. Now, it looked pretty cool when I was looking it up. It's actually available on Amazon. And if you wanna pick one of these up, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Lots of goodies in here, which is music to my ears. We got the user manual, which who needs? I'm pretty sure I could figure it out as we've installed dash cams in the past here on the channel. We have a a cigarette lighter or USB thing that you can you plug in there hopefully that's focusing what that looks like yeah so this is gonna be the power cable which is what connects the dash cam uh, to your power to the cigarette lighter this is the actual dash cam itself which is very sleek I like the design of this it looks really nice here maybe I'll get this to focus there you go here's the rear cabin facing dash cam also very nice it's got a GPS mounted to it too, which means there's most likely an app as well. We have these, which is for easy mounting. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to use them because of just kind of how the window is set up. We have a pry tool, we have a bracket, and then here is the rear camera, which isn't bad. Let's get this bad boy out. Could it be for this? I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Maybe that's just an extra. Or maybe that's if you want to mount this without the GPS. That's probably oh, they just give you an extra. Uh, slide piece. So if you wanted to slide this off, you can do so just like that. So it's just a second way to mount it easy on, easy off, which is nice. But um, yeah, this looks pretty cool too. Now I don't want to drill this into my car. So we're going to have to figure out a way to mount this to the back of the car without drilling anything in. And then this is the long cable that you're going to have to run from the back of the car all the way to the front of the car. In order for us to test this camera out, I'm gonna have to install it in the car and I'm gonna show you how I do it. This is kind of the most simplest way here. And then once it's installed, I'll kind of get some footage finally, taking it out on test drives or just normal driving. And honestly, it probably won't be long before I see some dumb stuff that happens here in Florida because it's almost every time I take my car out, even on the highway, we're constantly, I'm constantly seeing just dumb stuff that drivers do. So let's go ahead and install it and then we'll test it out right after this. All right, so uh, the way I'm gonna start off installing this is kind of just a temporary setup. Before we make anything permanent, I wanna just kind of hold it up to where I like it, to where it looks the best. And then before I actually mount it, we're gonna plug it in temporarily into the car and just see how it looks first, see how everything runs, and then I'll actually adhere it to the uh, to the window. So let's find that cable first. Now there should be, uh, there's already a memory card installed in this, and it is a 64 gigabyte SD card, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm putting accessory power on, and that should hopefully, yep, there we go, send power to the dash cam. Let me turn this off, let me turn off my air conditioning. All right, so we are powered on. English, okay, the time zone. I have no idea what time zone we are in. You can figure that out another day. Now it says, please format SD card memory smooth. Okay, all right, so we, we're good to go. And as you guys can see, you can see what I see through it. So basically I'm gonna mount this there. I'm gonna mount this up here, see if I like it, and then I'm gonna stick it here permanently. So I decided to mount the dash cam right up here. It's a good spot, turns on, and I like the way it looks. Now I was actually getting annoyed because I didn't know I could adjust this, uh, the front camera, and I know it's gonna be hard to see, but I just realized you can actually bend this down 
and up, which is awesome because now I can get this perfectly centered to where I want, where it's not too much on the hood and it's not too much of the, uh, just like the, the sky. So I'm very happy that this actually can be adjust it a little bit. All right, so with the front facing camera installed pretty much where I'd like it to be, it's now time to wire in or at least install where I want the rear camera to go. And then once that's perfect and in its right position, it's then time to conceal these wires and actually hide them throughout the car. Now on a hatchback like the Volkswagen, I'm thinking the best place, originally I was thinking about mounting it here, but if I was to put it there, then I'm gonna have to route it through the cables here, which is possible, and then out and about. But I think actually the best option here is to put this camera under here and actually mount it right over here, directly facing out. And that might be the best spot uh, with the least amount of work uh, hiding these wires. Now, as you guys remember, the kit comes with two screws and this 3M tape. And theoretically, this is so you can actually drill this into the exterior of the car, uh, which makes this, I believe, like water resistant at that point. But because I'm gonna mount this on the interior, just like this, um, I'm gonna just use the 3M tape, which makes this less kind of destructive to your car. So I'm gonna mount this here and I'm gonna run this wire temporarily to the front of the car and we're gonna see if this comes in clear. It's also a nice touch, which they didn't actually have to do, is install this kind of breakaway connector, which means you can now run this wire through the car without actually having to fish this big, bulky connect, you know, camera in it too. So that is very convenient, and there's only one way to, uh, to connect this, so there's no chance you have of, of damaging it. So that's a really nice feature they've thought of uh, with this camera. All right, so check it out. Right in the back of the car, we have the camera mounted right there. The wire, you know, dangling across. And as you can see, it's now we have both the front and rear of the camera showing as well as the interior of the car. So I'm gonna close the hatch and hopefully we should still have a good view. Alrighty, so I like the positioning of everything here. So it's that means it's now time to actually start tucking these wires and making them a bit less noticeable than kind of running straight through the center of the car. check it out we have officially hidden all the wires in the car just routed everything up and around and through and down here and then up into there and then for the face outer facing camera we routed it through here around down to my leg and then right into the cigarette lighter which is super easy unplug it plug it back in and you'll get your power but now it's all hidden and tucked away nicely and we have an awesome camera so it's about time we take this puppy on the road and see if we can find some Florida drivers. We also got a pretty nice settings menu to kind of change and put everything back to the way I wanted because I kind of messed up the date. It's all easily accessible by pressing that M button right over there on the bottom right. So all in all, the AZ Dome M550 is an all-in-one dash cam that has everything you need to make you feel protected in your car. Not only does it have solid night vision, but it also has built-in Wi-Fi to connect to their app, which you can download on your phone. Now, here's some footage that I promised of the usual Florida drivers I see on a day-to-day -day instance. And I also just recorded some footage of what the dash cam actually looks like and sounds like. Oh, uh, don't you dare.
Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's episode. Honestly, this is a really cool all-in-one camera. You know, some of these cameras, a lot of these cameras, you have to buy the rear camera or even the cabin camera, extra or separate, but to have a full-blown kit that comes with everything is super cool. It records in 2K, high def resolution, lots of cool features, and it really, it's like minimalistic and it complements the car really nice. You barely notice it and every camera is adjustable to make sure that you capture the accident or whatever whatever it is you're trying to record when you need it the most. So make sure to pick one of these up if you're interested. Link will be down in the description below. Also huge shout out to AZ Dome for sending me this. They really didn't have to do it, but it made for a really cool video. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.